Welcome, welcome, One Hot Fighters. We are making something that is going to be a standby in your home, I promise. Any night you need something quick and easy. These are spicy chicken cakes, super easy to make, 242 calories for two cakes, and honestly, protein packed, nutrition packed, low fat. Not that everything has to be, but this is. And uh, so to accompany the spicy chicken cakes, we are doing a horseradish aioli. This is so good. If you like horseradish, it just has that perfect little bite. These co combine together really well. I use Cajun seasoning in it. That's kind of where the spice comes from. You'd think I was gonna use a jalapeno or you know, Tabasco or something like that. Nope, we are gonna get that from the Cajun. So let's quickly put these cakes together, get them cooked up. We're gonna mix up our horseradish aioli and you guys are gonna be amazed because it's delicious. So welcome here, let's get cooking. So I have already prepped some of the ingredients. Um, I have ground chicken breast. You can buy ground chicken in most stores. Sometimes it's hard to find around here. Uh, it's definitely a lot more expensive than buying a chicken breast. And I have a grinder, so I will grind my own. Uh, or you can actually just take a knife and chop it super thin. Yeah, we have our ground chicken. I have fresh chopped chives. You've seen me in my garden before with those. I have our Cajun seasoning and salt. That's the big secret in the spice uh, mayonnaise to give some moisture to the cakes. The way I keep these light again is I have two whole egg whites in here. So uh, that keeps it nice and light. And in order to bring you know, our binder for these cakes to hold them together with the egg, I have whole wheat bread. So we're gonna go ahead and chop this up. This is the only thing I didn't prepare, but other than that, we are ready to go. So let's chop up our bread and mix up our cakes and we're gonna cook them up. for your breadcrumbs. That's basically what you're making. You can blend these if you want, but I didn't want to bring out any equipment today. I can, you know, you can hand chop your chicken and for your bread, we're going to keep the crusts on. And honestly, it's just, we're going to make it into cubes. Okay, as you can see, when I did the breadcrumbs, they, my bread was super moist and you know, it was kind of sticky together. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You can definitely dry out your bread, use day old bread, and it's gonna soak up a lot more of the moisture. I'm, I'm not worried about that in this. These come together, they're super moist and delicious as is. So you can use day old bread or you can use fresh bread, either one. With wet hands, you're going to form little chicken. Okay, so our chicken cakes are cooking and they won't take very long at all. So we're gonna whip together our horseradish aioli. So in here I have mayonnaise. I do uh, canola oil mayonnaise, horseradish, and, and then of course a little garlic and some salt. So uh, let's go ahead and whip this together really fast. Ooh. Aioli sauce, mmm, done. 
Horseradish is so good. And there you have it. We have done it once again. Another hot bite from one hot bite. Let's give this a taste. So this is my horseradish aioli. Let's get a little chicken cake here. I'm gonna just give it a little dip and a little sample. Hmm. See, family favorite right here. Hmm. The chicken cake is so moist, so yummy. You get that smokiness kind of from the Cajun seasoning and the horseradish aioli comes back and just bites you in the very end with this creamy little sassy. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe down below. Give me some likes and comments and uh, I'm gonna enjoy my chicken cakes with a little old Pinot Grigio. So anyhow, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, one hot bye.